three. Day three of 13 days of Halloween art. Hi, I'm Cinnamon Cooney, your art sherpa, and today we're coming to you again live to teach you how to paint the sequel to our original Witch Sisters. Uh, we did a Witch Sisters a couple Halloweens ago that was super popular, and I wanted to do a follow-up to that with a different flair because you guys have loved them so much. On the mic today is my husband, John. Hi, guys. This is going to be about a one-hoot painting. During the teaching, John over there is going to track me with one of our many cameras. Well, three. <laughs> I would try. He will try. You I move around very, a lot. You're very it's, dodgy. If you're here for the live, it's always fun to see if like I can throw him off, which I'm not actually trying to do. It just naturally happens. This particular painting definitely, definitely, I think is going to be something that's like, you know, yesterday the pumpkin, we were like, that was two hoot. We rate on a three scale. Tomorrow is definitely three. So this is a one hoot day. You can expect to relax and enjoy. It's going to be simple mixes, simple blends. Of course, there's a traceable. If you check the description below, there's information about all the materials that we have. A link to our website on the website is a traceable. You can, that's a PDF. You can just download them, that and print that out. And also, you can check out the schedule for all 13 days of Halloween. What are we painting each day? Finishing up with the pumpkin carve. Oh, yes. And I'm going to hook you up for pumpkin carving. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. It's going to be pinnable, shareable, Instagrammable stuff. It's got some pretty, we have some, we have some pretty amazing things going on out there. We do. We're having a pretty good Halloween. Yeah. Thank you for hanging with me. Still got a little bit of a head cold buzzing around, but I'm doing pretty good. Yep. I got a little overexcited for some reason that we won't. Going to nope. that some of you guys might know. We have and then I couldn't sleep, but then I got sick. We have a lot to be thankful for, guys. We and we, do. we are super grateful. We're just going to try to keep our shows going here so that these are going to be ready for us uh, on the on this, the replays. Yeah. So thank but you, yes. guys. Yes, you we know, feel we, it. We love we know, you guys. We feel it. We're flipping out. We're so excited. Okay. I have an 11 by 14 canvas here. And on it, we have uh, wishes for peace and safety around the world. And we want to mm -hmm. send special love to Alberta and Vegas. Yes. Definitely, definitely. Uh, Val, you know, is wishing for a friend of hers. And just in general, just a support and recovery for people who are battling melanoma. So, again... More research, more support, more well-being. On a personal level, my deep good buddy Claire is uh, actually in some sense getting a little time off. But we're wishing that she has the best healers on the planet who will unlock the awesomeness that is Claire and make a plan for that. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And then on, in our own family, um, Kim has got a wish for her father-in-law who's gone into hospice. And we just want to wish support for her whole family mm -hmm. and strength. For a friskity christy. Yes. All right. So, wishes on the canvas. Watercolor pencil and chalk pencil ready. But basically, let's look at the paint colors. Oh, yes. Paint. All right. Do -do -do. So, I have heavy bodied acrylic paint here. And I have cadmium yellow medium. I have thalo. I don't know why I have them upside down. Thalo green. So, quinacridone so magenta. You. Thalo blue. Docks purple. Cad red light. Yes, you could use cadmium or naphthol red. You could also use Hansa if you don't have cadmium. It's totally okay. Titanium white. And like I've been showing you, the gesso trick to save a little money. So we're going to play with a little bit of gesso again. But you could just use your white paint. I just like to show you guys things you might not know that you could be excited about and into very much. Now, over here, because... Um, I'm, I work on a vertical surface. Soon I'll have a horizontal and a vertical surface, but right now I have a vertical surface and so I can't show you the cool pinky trace orange or pinky trick. So since I'm unfortunate circles, if I don't do that, right here in the center, about two fingers from the top, I have me a roll of my painter's tape. <laughs> just any circle, you could use your coffee mug, your drinking glass, just whatever you have. And I'm going to trace around my circle. This is a watercolor pencil, so... It's going to be water soluble when I paint over it with my paint. It's going to kind of disperse into my paint a little bit. The pigment, of course, will probably pick up some into the paint, but I'm not that worried about it at this time. I'm going to put out my colors. Ooh, did you hear that, John? The, 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 the thunder. thunder. We've got the thunder and the lightning for the Halloween. 13 days of it. It's, it's, it's the natural ambiance. Not like I'm ambiance. going to stop celebrating the Halloween at the end of 13 days. Well, luckily, it's just the beginning of it. 
Because so again, just just so. Yes, sorry. Celebrating the Saturday, thirteen. The thirteen days because it's the beginning of Halloween. Yes, I want some purple. Okay, for purple. I was like, do I want some purple? And then I was like, yes. What I do see you that mean, I want some purple. Do you want some purple? Well, I always want some purple. It's my. F- I love my purple. What color purple is it though? It is dioxazine purple. Dioxazine. Yeah. Sometimes in Z-Z-Z-Z-Z-Z-Z-Z-Z-Z-Z-Z-Z-Z-Z-Z-Z-Z-Z-Z-Z-Z-Z-Z-Z-Z-Z-Z-Z-Z-Z-Z-Z-
My pressure too, if you'll notice, I'm not pressing super hard like this, am I? Look if I press really hard how thick the stroke gets. Yeah. Some of the light delicateness of this is that I'm on the tip of my brush, just sort of feathering and dusting along. Right? Yep. And that's just something to think about what might be happening for you versus what's going on on my canvas and why. I'm not having to get water a lot because, well, the gesso's pretty wet. Yeah? Yep. And before somebody writes me, yes, gesso can mold. Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> just now that I'm using it a lot, I know I'm going to get that question. It has a crazy smell, and there's this crud on it. Yeah, it got some bacteria in it, and it really, really likes to grow mold. So try to use clean water and clean brushes whenever you go in there. I like, that's why I like bottles that pour out. This is like not, I like a bottle that pours out because then I can't get my contaminated tool in there. Mm. And so it's all that's happening. Rondo is saying that she really, really loves that you reverse the, the sisters. It has a very special feel for her. Yeah? Uh, yeah. And I think it's, it's been echoed by a lot of people in here. They really like that, that you know, they like both of them. But this one has a, you know, has an, an additional sort of... Feel. You know, yeah. It has feels. Uh, it, it is. I'm going to get some pink on here and take some of that in through here because I want my sky to be very mystic. See, I'm misti misticking up my sky. You know, whatever you want to do, though. Can't get it wrong. Just art. Each sky will be mystic in its own way. I love, you know, and I feel sometimes like when I paint certain subject matters, it's not something I've personally experienced, right? Mm -hmm. So I, I don't have a sister. I've had close girlfriends, but I feel like that's probably different because having observed my friends and their sisters, you know, your girlfriend's like, she's got a different jam. Mm -hmm. You know, sisters, it's much deeper. I watch my girls, honey, and... I watch Luna and Honey, and I watch Luna just stalk Honey, basically. <laughs> <laughs> it's stalking. <laughs> Honey's like, she's doing it again. I'm like, she really is, man. <laughs> Everything you do, she could, she's got to do it, too. So see how I'm pulling the brush out? Actually, if you could push the uh, canvas, you just did yeah, perfect. And pull, that's going to get fixed. Pulling the brush out. It certainly will. I won't ever have to ask that again. <laughs> And I'm loading both sides with the white, and I'm just enjoying the mix. Mm -hmm. So I'm coming down. Right? That's what we're doing. We're enjoying the mix. This cool, 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 cool. Cool, 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 cool. Cool, 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 cool. cool. I like to say the word cool. You know it's me because I actually use the word awesome in a non-ironic way. Yeah. But in my defense, I grew up in uh, Southern California. Mm. So when I say awesome dude, it's super righteous compliment. <laughs> You know, I always wanted to grow up and be a big kahuna. <laughs> a little too much Frankie and Annette, I guess. Uh, a little too much. A little too much. I'm too much. That's yum. what it is. So see, so you're just coming down and the sky is getting kind of cooler. I like it. And it's just, oh, it should be fun. Fun, 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 fun. You could do this in sunset colors. You could do this in a lot of colors. Once you learn the sky method, you should be able to really customize this up for a lot of things. I always try to teach you guys stuff that you can use not only in the tutorial, but in some other part of your little art life. Yes. And I'm just continuing to paint my sky down and adding white as I go. It gets a little crazy on the end here, and rather than having the often comical moments that I have, I'm just going to flip my canvas. Deborah has four sisters. Deborah! Wow, brave father. I feel it. Well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I mean, it sort of was his fault, but I mean, <laughs> genetically speaking. <laughs> <laughs> he did it to himself. <laughs> is that is that what it is? But you know, at some point you're sort of like, wow. I did I, this to myself. I, I, you have to you have to wonder how long there was, you know. That was just I'm, that must have been a lovely house. 
to grow up during the teenage years. <laughs> Your girls. <laughs> if my girls, girls are. I have, I have two girls. I have two, two twelve girls. And, a, and five. a very reasonable middle. Oh, they're wonderful. Child. I, and very. I mean, like I, I love my kids. I, I love my daughters. Oh, they're so good. I just they're good girls. And but I mean, like I'm overwhelmed at one and a little tiny one. <laughs> so I can only imagine five. Well, and we have one that's twelve, <laughs> and she's twelve in middle school. So that's a rough time. But hey, middle school, be nicer to each other. Good grief! But with five, you're bound to have multiples at the same time in that teenage years. Oh, <laughs> maybe it's just we're still in our first one in teenage years, so we're. They all have art and creativity, so they're a way to express it. Yeah. All right, we're gonna paint in our moon here <laughs> while we're letting this dry. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm sorry, I'm gonna blow my nose. <laughs> six, six brothers and seven sisters, Sean says. Can you turn says. off my sound? Oh, sure. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna turn off her sound. Give her, a, give her a moment there. We'll, uh, <laughs> and look, this is what we're doing today on the Art Sherpa, is this wonderful painting while we're giving Cinnamon a moment to blow her nose. <laughs> I, and you know what? In the, it, Oh, go. wait, I'm not done. Go get it. Okay. <laughs> and this is how you know we're live, because I have to go, book. And then you go, here, live, on the Art Sherpa, Cinnamon has to sneeze. <laughs> she, <laughs> and and now she, she's, uh, she's, she's shuffling the, the, the Kleenex off the, stay, off, the, off the floor, so that, because we can't see them, but she doesn't want you to be able to see them either. <laughs> so she's worried... She's worried that she's going to leave proof that she blew her nose on the floor. I probably missed a whole opportunity. There's probably a whole viewing public that just goes around and watches nose-blowing videos. And they get 65 million views because you blowed your nose. And I just, I often just sit there and say, I really picked the wrong segment. <laughs> well, we were, we were going to hear teaching something. I know we were. Art. You guys want to learn how to paint this? Okay, let's do that. All right, picture in picture back. <laughs> <laughs> yes, ma'am. There you go. Thank you, baby. <laughs> I'm going to take my purple and mix it with my blue and maybe a little white. So a little of this white. I'm just going to, you know, I, I just dipped in water, which is why that just got a little more fluid. Things were drying out. And so I'm pulling this. If acrylic paint isn't drying, it ain't acrylic. <laughs> well, it could be golden open or something like that. But generally, even that will skin. It's a It'll skin. So don't feel like you're going crazy if your paint's drying on you. It's supposed to do that. And if it's not drying you on you, check the tube and make sure you're not painting with oils. That's actually happened to somebody. <laughs> They're like, it's acting so different and it won't do all this stuff. And I'm, I'm like, let's look at the What are you painting with? I'm like, well, those are oils. Yeah. They're water mixable, but they're oils. They just act different. And they act different. It's not you. It's the paint. It's almost always not you guys. It's almost always the paint or the brush or the canvas. You guys are perfect. And we love you. It's true. It's so true. It's like, well, I mean, that's why we did the big art quest is because, like, I mean, who, who walks into a store knowing what a filbert is and what you should expect of it? Yeah. And we, we're going to, uh, you know, uh, one of the things we wanted to do is revisit that a more digestible thing. Yeah. So you could sit there and say, and if I do this six weeks, I'm going to know what happened. Yes. So That's a big part of it. More of a plan instead of my esoteric, this is what we're doing today, la, dancing in the field. <laughs> All right. So I have this dark base to my moon. Yes. Which I really, really love. Because then I can, you know, light it up and do some interesting things. I'm going to dry, th wipe this off and put this to the side. And I think I'm going to grab a scruffly brush. Mm-hmm. I like my scruffle brushes. Now, my favorite, favorite scruffly brush is a Cambridge because it's a mix of synthetics and natural bristles. So even if I do have to rinse it out, it doesn't turn into mush, which really ruins my whole dry brushing deal. Mush. And I actually am going to put out a little bit of my heavy body paint because the gesso does not dry brush well because it's so wet. Yes. Less polymer, more water. Or I actually don't know that's an accurate assessment of how that's made at all. <laughs> <laughs> you don't think it actually is water, so put Wait, a pin in that. <laughs> there's some science there that I didn't remember to look up. <laughs> <laughs> it really is. I should go look that science up. Well, paint companies are pretty into what they do, mostly. Well, I mean, like, that's their, I mean, like, just like we're into what we do. They, so you know. I'm learning the tip of the brush. You can see I just pull it out and I flip it so I can get paint on both sides. 
and I'm working right now on the edge of my moon. I'm lightening this up and I'm trying to make very random little light brush strokes mm -hmm. here to build up this value. I'm going to take this line to the halfway point here and here, mm -hmm. right? Because I want this to be, this moon to be kind of lit up in half. And you notice how I go brush, 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 brush. Yeah. And I'm trying to not make patterns and I need to leave dark holes in areas that are craters. Yes. Right? That's that's the goal. Don't pick on yourself if it's not working out exactly this way. Not allowed. But just see how it's just random. Yeah, this is a very easy place to overwork, right? This is a very easy place to get panicked and feel like you're doing it wrong, even though there was no handout sheet mm -hmm. or no you know standard set or any of it. You're not really going to paint your moon wrong. It's is it you know is it what you're trying to make? And don't try to paint exactly what I'm painting. Because you're, you know, we're not sharing a pod brain. And you're having your own art journey here. And All it's right. layers. And it's layers. So I have to let that dry and rest a little bit. But you can see that I've sort of put in the basis for some value that I, I might like. I might like a little bit. Now I'm going to totally treat myself. But first... I'm going to show you if you have another type of brush, like a round or a bright, right? How you might get grass. And then I'm uh, going to indulge in my fan brush. Now, they were asking. Yes. Uh, I, and, and I almost missed this. Brush. I almost, okay. so I can sippy sip in. Did you, now, in the moon, did you intentionally make it look like a skull kind of in there? <gasps> no! <laughs> okay. But I, I'll do it again now. Okay. Wait, two seconds, please. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh. So uh, they, they were trying to get my attention. Oh, I, just, I, I just... see it. Guys, thank you. And, and I was, they were just da, like. Da, 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 taking purple. I'm going to make it on purpose. Thank you. You guys are always seeing stuff in my, in my work. And you're like, I see a bear in the palette. Well, so, so the first time you did that, that was the accident then. Was total, a... total accident. But now, now <laughs> it's on. <laughs> now. <laughs> now. Get some crater action in there. Yeah, we're not even, we're not even joking, man. That's kind of happening there. So I'm going to just work with that. Look, we're already starting to build it up. I'll go back and visit this again in a minute to uh, make sure that it's a... Uh... Oh, you guys are the best. I intentionally put a skull in the mist. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are the best. The best. You're totally the best. You are the best. The best. I celebrate you now. You are the best. The best. You guys, you are the best. You saw my skull. My skull. You saw it in the moon and now we're painting it. We're painting it. We're... Oh boy, this is why I get a little shaded on YouTube right here. <laughs> I do these things so someday Willem finds me and goes, what? Not safe for work. But what I will say. When I say that name, not safe for work. We've had like, almost 400 people here. It's like 390 something people here. 402. 402 people all hanging out here. On a Tuesday, On doing a Tuesday. 13 days of Halloween art. I love that so many of you are actually painting every day with me. Every day. So thank every you for coming day. and helping us every find day. the hidden painting that Cinnamon put in there that she hid from herself. That's awesome. You should get up and celebrate and dance and dance and wiggle your fingers and wiggle your toes. And remember that we're all here and having a great time celebrating painting today because that's what we're doing for 13 days while Cinnamon is discovering. Wait her, till I'm wireless. She's discovering. Oh, but there's going to be a twirl. <laughs> <laughs> My twirls have been limited, but now I'm going to go. Pirouette and, and, and like every, Bridgnikov. Everybody was no. like, we thought you meant to do the bubble, the, the, the skull in there. No, they're fantastic. That they, they, Oh, they're the best. Yeah. They, they, All right. That. I'm loading a round brush, and I'm going to show you some grass. Right. You guys don't need to be oh, too grass. crazy about it because the grass only peaks. And basically what I'm going to say is, like, your grass line is about three fingers up from the bottom, right? Yeah. So if you're doing a brush... You're going to want to just do a delicate little 
stroke. And you have to realize you're gonna it's gonna peak here, it'll peak a little bit at the cauldron. But the thing is is you don't know where it's gonna peak. You know? So that can make it a little bit challenging for you. Notice how some of my grass strokes are long and some are short and they're kind of everywhere. And that's a good way of getting that done. Totally. Yeah. But in the interest of being super fast. Yeah. I'm going to take my number four fan. The first and most amazing fan made for heavy bodied acrylic paint. I'm going to load that sucker up. And again, it's the same method. Pull, pull, pull. Notice how it's not going. Fink. Yeah. And I'm going to just real quick get in my background here. Because <laughs> I don't want to be at this all day. You just get a. You guys be at it all day. I'm going to speed on ahead. <laughs> now it's okay. I'm going to be kind of a little bit like this here because I know I've got this little cauldron. And I can even be like, there's some sort of cauldron here. So you should leave room for the grass. I'm leaving room for it to weigh things down and be heavy and evil and percolating. Now we, we are kind of motivated by some thunderous weather outside. Are we? Well, there's, I mean... Oh, I was just having a good time. It is impending doom and gloom, it thinks. Not as bad as it was before. <laughs> no, no, but it's... I'm going to add a little uh, white to my brush. I'm going to take a little of my gesso on here, and just, I'm just going to keep grassing so that the grass has some person. Again, the girls are going to go over it, and I, I'm going to flip this over, John, so it's okay. just easier for me to paint. The girls are going over it. Don't be too mental about this part because so much of it gets covered. But the layers add a depth, and for the parts that peek out, right, for the parts that peek out, you could be like grass, 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 grass. Lots of ways to say grass. Oh, yeah. Right? Grass, 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 painting all the grass on Tuesdays. <laughs> what are you doing today? I'm painting grass, man. What are you doing today? Destabilizing the economy. I like my job better. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> you string random words together today. Cold. <laughs> You're not new here. You know what it is. <laughs> do, 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 do. I get very philosophical when I have a head cold. It's true. You do. Also, just sometimes think, why, why, oh, why? And then put a little more dark purple there. Oh, I'm just having to scroll down. Sorry. No, no, you're fine. You're doing just fine. <sighs> I'm so movie, movie, movie. Move it, What's move it, what you move out there? it. I just want to add another layer. Of is that quinacridone purple or? That is Doc's purple. There isn't. Oh, well, actually, there is a quinacridone purple. Don't mess with people. No, John. Well, you're. Yeah, I have to say you're a little. You, you, Am I a little weird today? With good reason, you're a little giddy today. Yeah, you know, I am. You're you're a little wound up. I'm wound up. You're happy about I'm, some stuff. I'm a little bit happy, <laughs> <laughs> and that's okay. The things that normally I find very frustrating, I'm not today because I know that soon, before 2018, these little suckers will all be fixed. And then I can do anything. I can teach it how I want to. I can show everybody everything. And they can all paint too. In the studio. So you're just mixing in some paint. In my studio. I'm just right now just enjoying the grass. You're just you're just gra you're just painting some grass. And just I just wanted some grass. Don't you just want some grass sometimes? Yeah. Rinse out my little fan and change my water soon, but not yet. Well, no, I'm going to do it now. All so right. see how this is sort of dirty. Yep. Do, 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 do. Um, if you guys are looking for how you're supposed to dispose of paint water, a couple of facts, fun facts you might not know. Yeah, acrylic is a little hard on your plumbing. Yeah. And there's a really cool article on Just Paint. Uh, from Golden Paint Company on some different ways you can dispose of paint if yeah. you want to. Yeah, there's. I, 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 I do don't do as don't do as I do. <laughs> do we actually have got we've got a couple different methods that we have we have used on with varying levels of success yeah, actually. Some of them are really. 
We've, like, I would be like, I don't live off the grid. What are you talking about? Well, so, uh, some of the problems... I'm going to take my white paint over here and, and, and work some of my skull. Cool? Oh, yes, definitely show me. So I'm going to just make sure that some of my, my moon is a little more highlighted. And some of my skull is showing up just a little bit more because I'm into it now. Now, now it's a thing. I can't help it. You guys show me. And what has been seen cannot be unseen. Right? That's awesome. Can unsee it. So I'm just trying to, when we look at skulls, when we see these things, the reason you guys saw it is your brain is totally made up of pattern recognition software. Yes. That's like what it's really good at. Um, I don't know. I have um, this really inexpensive retro faux marble junk in my bathroom in my shower. And if I'm in, in the bath and I'm looking up, I find all the faces in the swirls. I actually thought of this video where, like, I would have John photograph all the places I felt there were faces. And then I'd show it to you and then paint the face I saw. <laughs> 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 but then I was like, nobody wants to see that. Plus, my, my bathroom is really janky. But the cool thing about my bathroom is this cool swirly bit. Yeah. And I see faces in it. I don't know. You guys let me know. Would that be a good video series? John takes pictures of the faces I think I see in my bathroom, and then I show you what I saw. And then you could see if you see it, too. <laughs> and then we can all figure out if we're crazy in the exact same way. I think, that you're, you're, I, I, I think that we are all definitely crazy in the exact same way. I'm just saying. I have to hair dry this because this is still wet. Is it? Mm -hmm. still a little wet. Okay. I'm going to hair dry it, and John's going to visit with you. I will do that. And he's going to take really good care of you and talk to you for a minute while I dry my painting. I will give her some bubbles while she's doing that. Thank you, guys. Oh, my gosh. It is amazing to have everybody out here today. This is a really, really special time for us. You know, uh, Halloween is something that... <laughs> there, she saw him finally. Uh, we really love Halloween, and this Halloween's been very special for us uh, for so many different reasons. Um, having you guys' community, having our community, you guys, here with us has been so special. And this 13 Days of Halloween... Um, it's something that we're really excited about because Cinnamon's done a lot of really, really cool new designs. We've got uh, a lot of girls for Halloween. Tomorrow's a very special, uh, I keep saying special day because it is special. Um, but anyway, we've got uh, tomorrow, Wednesday, you should tune in uh, because Wednesday is going to be, well, it's going to be very Wednesday. It's very Wednesday. It's very also, Wednesday. some of the proudest work I've ever done in my life. It was awesome. Super was three awesome. hoop, but guys, dude, you gotta come. Mm -hmm. You gotta come tomorrow, because it is on like Donkey Kong. Can I'm we... like, every once in a while, I like to shake up the rest of YouTube and go, oh yeah, and there's two guys. And, and they go, oh! And, and, then, <laughs> and then now we did, we that that is, and it is really sharp. So, so I'm gonna make, today's painting has been brought to you by the letter U. So I'm gonna make a nice little cauldron shape, which is sort of a little fat rounded U. Right. Mm -hmm. I'm going to start with that with my chalk and I'm going to try to get it the size that I like because when I do my girls, they're going to cross in front of it and kind of capture the fire and all that. It's a whole thing I had going here and feelings of feelings. So once I have my little U, I'm going to let us peek inside the cauldron by making a small smile and a little frown. Right. Mm -hmm. So now we can see inside the cauldron, and then I'm going to come down a small sliver with another line. And that is how I get the bubbly vision inside my cauldron. Ah, so you get the foreshortened view. Foreshortened. Foreshortened. What, what about five shortened? There's no five shortened. Or six shortened. Yet. But maybe some brave and intrepid YouTuber will invent a five shortened video. Multi-dimensional shortening. Multi-dimensional. So I'm going to put out some, if it's not plugged, I'm going to put out some <laughs> black. Hopefully it's not going to squirt some crazy kind of way that I'm not going to like. You could use black gesso, you could use black paint. It's all good. Not important what you're using here, it's just important that it's black. And first, come and load up your brush. I have here a number four round. I could use a number four cat's tongue. I could use a number four bright. I'm just going to put what's comfortable in my hand in my hand. And the chalk is okay if it just yeah, it, it gets just painted. Dust away because it just removes with clean water and a brush. But it's okay to get in the paint. Oh yeah, hmm. yeah. It's not even. 
its pigment load is so light. If you were doing like a really high-end Richardson pastel, you might feel the pigment load of their pastel, right? If you were doing pan pastels, you might feel the pigment load of their pastel. Uh -huh. But this kid's chalk, I feel like its white is only an illusion. <laughs> 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 Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you what you don't do. You don't go into a business meeting and like talk about pigment loads on stuff because it upsets everybody. <laughs> <laughs> it's only funny here. Yes. It's only funny here when we're together. Do 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 do. You've got this. You're painting in the smile. You can handle it. Now, another thing that you can do to improve your experience and your result is to do brush strokes that are sort of rounded and follow the line of this smile. And that will help you imply, believe it or not, to your eye, the shape of your cauldron. Mm. Isn't that cool? Yes. I feel like it's cool. How Everything that works in art to me is cool. I'm like, it's cool. It works. All right, so when you have that painted in, you must come above and paint your top lip of your cauldron and sort of fill in what you have here. There you go. Pretty good. Pretty good. You're doing pretty good. Now I'm going to just go right into my gesso, my gesso gesso. Come right here in the center. And making that same sort of curved stroke, do a highlight down my cauldron. And the other thing that I can do that's sort of cool is I can come along the top here. Make sure, I'm going to rinse out, it was all glompy. Look at your brush and evaluate. Is it glompy? Is there a big ball of paint at the end of it? It's probably not going to give you a good line. You want a little, a little droplet. So I'm just going to come along the top of my cauldron with this line to create the highlight and that'll help give me some depth and some shape that I like. Like you do. Like you do. Like you do. Now my girls. My girls need some drawing in. Okay. And they're and they're like and actually I'm gonna well I can draw them in while I'm letting this dry. You guys can use the traceable as well if you're like, I don't draw. But how I like to draw them in is I made this little curve line and then I came over and I created a sister parentheses. And this is the shape of the girls as they're going. I wanted to do that. You know how like in like retro horror movies there was always some floating figure? <laughs> this is that. And I'm going to make a little egg shape here for a head and then sister over here should have a little egg shape Notice that I kind of take it off the axis of this line so I can have a chin. Mm -hmm. This is very helpful to me later. Then I'm going to curve a nice brim on the hat. It's already I, looking hat-like. Already looking hat-like. And then she can have another nice brim on her hat. These are both fashionable witches up to their witchy stuff. Then I like to bring the hat up and take it under the moon. You could take it up over the moon. Wherever you want to bring the hat's fine. I liked under. I just mm. want to make sure that it's sort of pointy and wistful. And maybe not exactly the same, but mirroring each other a little bit. So I've got that. <clears throat> now, I actually do a little ball about, if you think about it, it's about a thumb down for me. Yeah. Right down here. And that is the bus line. But, you know, a scarlet letter and all that. <laughs> so we're going to do kind of a diminutive empire here. And then I just pull this down like this. See? Yeah. To the end here. This little curve. Now, listen, you could just use the traceable. Nothing wrong with that. I'm going to... Pull this down again. Now this curve I'm going to tuck behind the first one a little bit. And pull this one down here. The hair I'm going to paint in. I'm not going to draw in. And what I'm going to say about this is, is, remember you can erase a chalk line with a clean, um, little clean water on a clean brush. 
but just don't get too wrapped up in the details. Get more wrapped up in the flow. Oh, I need a sippy sippy mm. of water. No. They love this explanation. They thought this was just fantastic. Of? Of how you explained how to draw on the girls. Oh, good. I'm so glad. So that was great. I'm... And you can use you can drop these girls on lots of stuff. They could be walking in rows of three. They could be like little ducks that were getting shorter. Please have a blast being creative. Yes, and don't and, and please use the pause, rewind, fast forward feature mm-hmm. so that you can you know you can you can paint at your own speed and at your own comfort. That's why we that's why you we do it like I this. I forgot way. a color, but I'm not sure if I did. You know, so cad yellow. Did I say phthalo green earlier? I don't know. I did, didn't I? I think I'm okay. You did. I'm okay. Uh oh! Look what I got that right on my finger, and I'm you, not dying. Because you talked about the weird colors of, you know. This is my uh, cleanup. Pro- See how I'm not running and washing off in the sink and <laughs> freaking out. I'm not freaking out. Not that I couldn't freak out if I felt like it. I could. I have it in me. Freakouts are totally plausible. They and happen. I put out some cad red mediums. Now I have the full palette out. It's but not generally, a lot of colors. generally, it's around spiders. <laughs> and the giant cockroaches of Texas. The natural wild cockroach flies all around your house. Scorpion. I'm going to put this water aside for later for when I paint in my dark witches. And I'm going to take out a clean water because I want bright colors right now. Yep. Still sporting my number four round. I'm going to take a little of my phthalo green and I'm going to drop a little phthalo blue into it for my first color. Like you do. And I'm just loading. See how I'm taking this water and I just sort of, when I'm trying to improve the flow of my heavy body paint, look, I'm just swirling it around. Mm. And I just let what the, this is why the amount of water your brush naturally carries is important. Because if I brought over Lake Erie here, I'd just have a lake. And uh, acrylics are only watercolors on paper. They don't do it on canvas unless you alter in the canvas some way, like with absorbent ground. Which really only a couple companies make. So I'm going to start by painting in. Isn't that great how that paints in? I love that. Painting in the green. Yeah. I love to paint in my green. And now. Keep dropping that in there. I'm going to rinse out. While it's still wet, I'll grab a little yellow. You can let some of your green get into your yellow. And I'm going to come along the back of my cauldron. Kind of follow the lines of it. See how I'm doing? Curling in. Just the shape I've already created. Enforcing that. There. Swirling up a little yellow highlight into what i got going on here. All right. Here we go. I'm gonna make some fire. Mm-hmm. Huh. Doing that. So, and I'm not gonna do all the wood and all the stuff and everything that was ever on the cauldron. Yep. I'm just going to take, and this is fine because it's one of the few places I get to use just pure cad red. Again, you could be using your naphthol red medium. That'd be fine. Your cad red medium, also fine. And here's how I'm gonna do some flames. I'm going to. In the center, just wander my brush up, see? I can wander it here. It's sort of fun. Some of what helps me here is if I plant this brush in hard and I do an S shape and I release the pressure, plant in hard, S shape, release the pressure, it's going to give me a flame kind of on its own. I don't really got to struggle for it. Your brush might be making you struggle. Yeah. That's okay. Yep. Just struggle. Get in. Get in it, man. And I'm going to just continue this little flame here. Because I can up the skirts up around the flame. So we'll just keep playing these two features in. Right? Right. Because this roaring fire is it's creating something, isn't it? Yeah. Sometimes it's nice to do the little S-curve up here. Just a little bit of playfulness. And that's what's really fun. Now, get right into your yellow. See, loosely mixed. And come and add this yellow. 
And now it starts to feel like fire, doesn't it? Oh, yeah. Especially where you've got it kind of you know, heavily layered on one side of the brush more than the other. Yeah. It kind of gives a... Gives it a whole thing. Mm. Now, could you use a lizard and crimson if you didn't have that? If you didn't have it, yeah. The trick is the formula. You've got the warm red to the yellow to... Now grab some white. Yeah. Just some white in a couple places. Add that. Not everywhere. Just a couple places. See, I'm like right here. You're just trying to say that there's a hot roaring fire around you. You can even go back into your red and your yellow and create some layering here. But that's all it takes. Just a little bit of boom, boom, boom. It's a fire in the nighter. Happy, happy fire, 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 fire. All right. I'm going to take a little green just while I'm thinking about it. And make sure that this has a little dark spot. And if you have a real hard time getting it to be a dark spot, here's a little trick. Mm -hmm. One I really love, I use a lot. If you painted the still life with me, you know I lose, use it a lot, a lot. We'll be doing that again soon. Yes, we will. I'm going to take a little of my dark purple to my green. And it's going to make a very deep green. This is like, for Halloween, a must do. That's how you're going to get your deepy swamp greens. Just if you need that right there to deepen, deepen it. <clears throat> you might, you might not, I don't know. I'm going to bring, I'm going to put this water to the side for just a second. I'm going to come back and get this water that I was using with my black because I don't need it to be particularly clean. Yeah. And I'm going to take my number four round and I'm going to load, see how I dive right into the paint and roll around. Got a nice load. And I'm going to start oh. painting my girls and that's just about bringing these brush strokes down like let's come up over the chest here and then down and then as I come to release I can like let it flick out see yeah see I'm doing the Bugsy Seagull again see flick it out see let's pull this down pulling it down how is everybody dude they are loving this this is a this is great. Everybody is really enjoying this painting, and just so you know, uh, Cinnamon doesn't get to see the chat. She doesn't get to see how we, we got over four hundred and twenty people here in the room. Oh, that's fantastic! They're just guys. loving hanging out here with us today. This is a this is so we got a really great crowd of people. I hope this. you guys can make it Wednesday. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> it's just too funny to me. So I'm gonna pull this down, and I'm pulling it down. See how I'm letting this stroke get so light down here. So when I come to the finish of the stroke, I rock off my pressure and let the brush finish out. See? Yep. Rock off my pressure and let the brush finish out. Brush is doing all the work, man. I'm just here. I'm along for the ride. I just like to slow down every once in a while and show you guys, like, pressing down for the smooth full. Now here, we're going to let it be pretty full because we're going to use the firelight to create the difference between the two gowns. See oh, right there? Oh, yeah, yeah. I see it in the painting. I didn't notice that before, yeah. but I see it now. Yeah, it's so cool. It's so funny. So let's, uh, let's give this girl a little... She's going to be, like, creepily looking up along her little chin. Nice little neckline. We'll do her hair in just a second. I just want to get this painted in. There she goes. Not a lot happening here. Kind of looks like a weird little thumb. But we're not worried about it yet. Because once you put the hair in, then she's in. Now... The hat brim I'm real delicate with. All right. Mm -hmm. Check your brush lines. If your brush isn't giving you a fine line, get a different brush before you, you know, get up in your hat. There we go. Nice little wickedly weird little backy back. Just joining the hat. It's very strange and witchy. And I'll blend it here. And a little bit flared out here. Oh, yeah. that's I... Now, on her hair, on her hair, even though I'm not going to see it at first, I like to still take the full swoop. Well, it adds some sort of texture to the paint. Mm -hmm. And you're, there's some subtlety 
that even in cameras you can't see that the the, the but reflection. to the eye you and your friends will. So and when I'm blowing out this hair, I actually paint the whole stroke of the hair. You're exactly right, John. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to talk over. No, you. no, that's I mean that's what you're here for. I'm here to help you, not you. <laughs> <laughs> Please. So see how I'm just pulling this hair back. Oh, Long yeah. stroke. Same thing with the fire. So it's the press and release on the line. And I like them to have some long hair kind of flowing back because they're very, very mystical. Right? Yeah. So it's okay to let those little bits of sky and everything shine through. Because her true colors are shining through. Which seem to be purple and black. Yeah. I know somewhere Cindy Lauper is secretly painting with me. I would be She's so pleased if that were true. Wouldn't that be just so cool? Be the awesome. She's just singing along. She's like, "That's not how you sing that song, but I love you anyway." <laughs> That's right. We can all be Goonies together. <laughs> oh yes. <laughs> May we all be Goonies together forever and ever. <sighs> all right. So I'm gonna plant my brush stroke and pull it down. And release. Didn't catch the release. Pull it down and release. All right, so that's how I'm creating that whimsical edge to the skirt. And where I need to have it full, I just press the brush very flat. See, and that just pushes all the pigment in. Okay, I'm so glad you guys saw the skull. <laughs> that's the best thing well i was seeing it earlier and i was like i thought it was i thought it was just you, you intentionally had it in there no this is like, intentional the other one's actually this is me intentionally because i'm not subtle <laughs> <laughs> hey guys guess what big secret i'm not subtle but you could be more subtle than we are if you wanted to be i don't know man i i feel like if you look at tomorrow's painting man that's there's like no, we we you know she's not subtle i mean you're just like marker cream feet of callow Wednesday. <laughs> I I rather enjoy the the bright colors and the. Oh my goodness! And you know we had so many already wonderful Halloween paintings in our lives, mm -hmm. and now this year just is rocking it out. I'm... I think we're gonna have to start calling it Sherpa Ween. <laughs> Sherpa Ween, you you have Sherpified too many words. I I you know what everything everything is boinga here. <laughs> everything is Sherpa here. Yeah, I gotta remake that song because you know I've watched a lot of backyardigans. I paid my dues. Those other those other people they don't get the joke. I like the backyardigans. I like the whole imagination backyard. It was very inspiring. I really do too. Though backyard. I have to say Tasha was super bossy. <laughs> 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 I think Tasha's mom would need to have a talk with her. <laughs> <laughs> well, they all had to have different iconic personalities. I and guess she was, that's true. She and was like, in charge. Yeah. You know, I don't, I don't, you know. And then there was the one animal that nobody knew what it was. <laughs> <laughs> Rinse like, out your brush about now. What can happen even if you're painting the same color over and over again is the paint can start to dry on your brush. Uh-huh. Right? So... You know, be sure and rinse it off and then reload. I'm just painting in the little head shape, her sister's head shape, like you do. Yep. And a very, very delicate hat. Maybe drop the brim. Oh, so nice, so nice. I painted it twice. And a little whimsical hat under the moon. That's what you gotta love about art, 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 art. Oh, don't you the feel hat. geniusy? I, I love, I, you know what? Just the unintentional subtle differences that just sort of creep. Yep, sorry. Wrong. It's okay. I'm hitting all the wrong buttons there. Um, I went into wow play mode instead of switch camera mode. It was. I just wanted to be weirder with the hats. That's a choice you can make. But never you, feel like you can't make some weird little choice. What I meant to say was over here when you can see it, you know, on on, on this angle where there's so much difference in the in in the hat shapes and the character shapes, it creates the personality. Just autumn. I mean, it yeah. just like you can tell the difference between the sisters. And and all they start picking up subtle things. It's like which one's in charge. 
right? Who's who, which one's the bossy sister? Which one's the 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 which one's the neat sister? Which one's the We didn't get any of the neat sisters. <laughs> we didn't get neither one of our neat sisters. <laughs> I don't know, not in our house. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. <laughs> That's the crazy thing they decided to have in common. The mess. The mess. The mess They're is what they've chosen to share. You know, I imagine there are probably sisters out there that share the neat. They're like both perfect, you know, like they love Oh, to your parent, aren't they blessed? Yeah, that'd be awesome. Aren't they blessed? Ah, the, the person with the angel baby. It's like all right on the check marks. Checking them off. Mm -hmm. Checking them off. All right. But these witches do have toods. They do. They do. These girls, you know. And I'm going to show you. So my brushes, I've got this in my cleaner water. If I come here where the paint's dry, you can see oh. I can easily remove any of the chalk. Oh, yeah. Just comes right off. That's just a damp brush. See, so I'm not, I'm not having to be stressed out about any of that at all impacting the gorgeousness of my work. So I'm going to take a little of my blue, a smidge of black, and some white. And I'm loading it right on the tip of my brush. And I'm going to come to the midpoint in my hat. And I'm going to blow her hair back. See? Just a little bit. Oh, yeah. Just the midpoint in the hat. Give her a little bit of the fara. And then her skirt up here towards the front. I'm going to pull down. A couple little streaks. See? Yeah. That's it. Just just, ah. just touch some, some shadow just on there. Just touch a little bit. Touch it's, your it's, painting a little bit. It's interesting that you have to paint some darkness on top of the black. Because Network. otherwise you can't see it. You can't see what you don't highlight. All right. So we've given her a little bit of a hairstyle. It's a little different than her sister's. Because let's, let's they, give her some let's give her some uh some dress. If these sisters are anything like my daughters, they must have differences. Yeah. Like, oh, or the thing. That's my thing. You can't like that thing. That's my thing. You can't like that color because it's I'm my like, color. Then you all have to stop picking nationally popular things to be into. <laughs> <laughs> you need to find something obscure. <laughs> Not frozen. <laughs> One of you doesn't get frozen. <laughs> <laughs> All right, <laughs> so, little little peek into my world. All right, so I'm gonna get um a little of my cad red and a little of my cad yellow, and I'm gonna make kind of a nice little warm orange color here, loosely mixed as you can see, mm -hmm. and on the tips of her hair, here towards the end, I'm gonna add a little firelight. Oh yeah, and then I'm gonna bring. A little firelight. Um, this dress is crossing in front, so you could even go ahead at this point and just say, there it is. So you can see it. And I'm going to add a little fire firelight to the back of her skirt here. Right? This is it. little firelight. And same thing here to her hair. A little tip her hair. Not a lot, guys. To me, this is like less is more. But give her skirt a couple little highlights where the fire has caught it. Yeah. All right. No, no, I'm going to get my smallest scumbly brush. And I may even need to get a different little brush. <laughs> but basically what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to, here, I'm going to get, this is an, a number two shader. I just want to get some control before I get all the white brushing in. And I'm going to load up just on the tip of my small brush I have control over. Number okay. two, Filbert. It's actually called a Filbert. I call it shade. It's Filbert. But I still think it's a shade. <laughs> You're so funny. You, you got, you <laughs> my own brush line. I'm arguing with myself. It's so weird. All right. So I'm going to make a little circle here. <laughs> this is only if you want to do the skull. Okay. And I'm going to make another little circle here. And I'm notice that my brush is dry, so it's allowing a lot of the canvas to show through underneath. All right? Yep. And I'm going to make an upside down heart. And the other thing, 
Now I'm going to just tip a little bit of brush and water because, man, it's just not coming off. And then I'm going to very carefully make sort of a little squatty circle around the eyes. And then right here, underneath the nose, I'm going to go dash, 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 dash. So that's how I'm going to get the basis of this dry brushed smoky little skull in. I'm going to just very lightly, wispily, dry brush this guy in. See? See? Yeah. And I can even, you know, now, getting my dry, dry brush, I'm going to load up just, look how thin it is on my brush. You can see it when I scrape it off. It's just on the edge here. I'm going to come in right here at the center and make little calligraphy kind of misty, smoky. <gasps> no! You made it red. I did. I'll fix that in oh, a second. Oh, you have to show them how you're going to fix it. I, I'm, well, I'm first, I'm going to get off this excess red. I'm going to come back and remove as much of my pigment this as was, I can. This is how you know it was live, guys. Besides our rambling, this is totally how it happens. And we're going to see her fix it right here. Don't, like, m copy my mistake. <laughs> yeah, don't suggest you putting the red in there. That was no. not... But I'll fix it. Let's see you do it. Hmm? We're going to watch. Well, I'm removing as much as I can. Yeah. And that's one of the nice things about using the, the... The the paint that I use lets me take paint off if I need to. Yeah. If it's dry underneath, I'm good. A pro paint, it really yeah. it helps that you All do right. that. So it's like, what's not even there anymore. Okay. <laughs> yes. So that's the... This is one of the benefits. Tougher to do with other types of paint. I know. But the principles still apply. Let's make some smoke going off here. It's really steam. Like this. So I've come up, out, down, up, curve. Say so very, very calligraphy like with my strokes. Yeah, Sean was like, I kind of like it. You could have left it there. That would have been awesome. A little bit of like, you know, there, it could have been like a little finger coming up out of the water. Hello. I'm going to add a little of that to the, to the water itself. So just trying to be light. Don't do too much. And now, and now, and now, at the end of the day, we realize that our sisters have met and they're up to something. <laughs> We're going to take our small, I'm going to, I'm going to switch to my number one, no, my number three over zero, I guess. But this is just a small detail brush that's going to give me some control so I can sign. I'm going to flip my painting on the side and let it drop to the floor. <laughs> I narrate everything. And I'm going to come down here and just very quietly. Oh, oh, hold on. Yeah, I, you moved on me. Oh, 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 there it goes. Sign this little tucked corner. I want people to be able to see it. No, am I a framer's friend? No, I'm not. Um, <laughs> I want people to see it, know who made it, but I don't want it to distract from the whole overall piece. So this is day three of the 13 days of Halloween that we have done live. We're coming all 13, finishing with the pumpkin carve. You've got to come tomorrow. It is crazy. Yes. It is crazy. Go check out the upcoming paintings, and then you can squeal and be so excited. If you go out to the artsherpa.com forward slash Sherpa Halloween, Halloween, you can find all of the Halloween stuff that we've got collected up out there. There's a, at least has done a fantastic job of help curing it, curating up a page there. So we're getting ready for craft season. Hello, thanks, Miss sherpa -ween. It's now sherpa -ween. I can't now even forever. say all that at once. I'm like... Be good to yourselves. Be good to each other. I'm going to see you at the easel tomorrow, but at least really soon. Bye-bye. <laughs>